Hey, Steve here from Pitch for VY. I had a previous video where I was uh, complaining about the seven and a half minute load time for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 as compared to 2020, which load uh, just under two minutes there. Uh, I had a reader, Chris2790, uh, I wanted to give a shout out to him for pointing this or suggesting this other YouTube channel. Uh, they had a few suggestions there and I went ahead and I tried the last one first or actually the middle one first. It's one of the most setting or simple ones. Um, and it worked for me immediately. I went from seven and a half minute load time to just under two minutes. Now, what it is, is changing a window setting, at least on mine. So I'm running Windows 11 Pro, but uh, in your search bar, go ahead and my shortcut is to type in date and time settings. Click that. Once you're in your time and uh, language and time and date settings, Make sure your set time zone automatically is turned on. If it's off, which mine was, I went ahead and turned it on. I went ahead and also scroll down to sync now and click sync now just to sync it at that moment. Now, the two other things you may want to check is your uh, language and region settings. Uh, click the right carrot there and make sure you're in your correct region. I'm in the United States, so my region is set correctly. And under regional format, I just uh, chose to stay with recommend. Well, that's how I solved my problem. I went from seven and a half minutes load time down to just under two minutes for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So I hope this uh, suggestion works. If not, <coughs> excuse me, if that, uh, go to the uh, YouTube channel and the link provided below and um, in the description. And he's got a few other suggestions you may want to try and see if that option work for you. Now, also, I do want to make sure that you know that you do have a good internet connection. And if you are running a connection, a hardware connection to your computer from your switch, make sure that you've got your switch is up to date. If you have an older switch and it's not able to pass uh, data quickly, you may want to think about getting a new switch for your computer. Uh, mine happens to be a, a five gig switch, so it'll, it, it can go up to five gigs in data transfer. So that's something you may want to look at also. It's something to consider. Well, again, this is Steve for Pitch for VY. Appreciate you watching and leave some comments below if you have any. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel and click the bell for upcoming videos. And again, a shout out to Chris2790 for uh, passing that uh, YouTube channel link along my way. Uh, help me solve my problem. Maybe it'll help you solve yours as well. Until later, fly safe.